Hey, Grumpy Gunsmith back again. Uh, today I'm going to do a little video on how to solder on tenons on a round barrel and you can use the same process to do the front sight. Uh, not difficult. Uh, I'll show you simple method of doing this and it works very well and they stay in place uh, extremely well. Alright, so stay tuned. Be right back. Now to uh, solder the tenons on just using some of these thin ones here and I've already got it marked you want them fairly equidistant from breech to muzzle allowing for nose cap or the reduced area that you're going to take out for being able to grip your ramrod this is a, a 41 inch barrel so I've got them spaced at 10 inches 23 inches and 38 and a half inches and that gives me the proper spacing you also have to worry about where your uh, ramrod pipes are going to be in relation to the tenons. You don't want a ramrod pipe placed where you are going to have a tenon. So you kind of have to lay out your tenons on your stock first and then see which areas will work for putting a tenon so that you're not overlapping. And I've already done that. I've got all the measurements already figured out. So the first thing you want to do of course is clean the metals and these are fairly clean but I use a little sandpaper and just scuff up the inside of your tenon and the barrel where you're going to be putting the tenon. Alright, so got those two. Now if you want to, you can put a little mark on the side of the barrel where you want that since I just took that one off but I know pretty much where it's going to be now the next thing will be to flux this and you can use various fluxes uh, paste solder works fine just paint it on both sides but what I've come to use and like a lot is this Oatly number 95 it's a lead free tinning flux so it's got tin in it as well so that will help everything stick together now this didn't have enough tin in it uh, for my uh, use so I add powdered tin to some of this and it's, it's whatever formula works good I've got some here I took some of that Oatly 95 and then mixed in uh, oh two or three tablespoons of the powdered metal to give it a little bit more tin in there and what you'll do is simply coat the barrel and the tenon with this stuff and I put a good amount on there stick them together and to make sure that everything is lined up let me adjust this camera here and I'll show you what I do down at the far end of the barrel I've got flats so I put what's called a winding rod in old terms basically just a ruler and I'll sight along the tenon and get it perpendicular to my winding rod down there. Let me get in your way for a second. Okay, that's pretty good actually. Then you want to clamp them together and I've got these all metal spring clamps. And most good metal spring clamps will come with rubber tips and just pull those off. You don't need them. Now all we do is heat this up 
until we start to see the flux running. Let me get you a little closer look here. Put a little bit of lead free solder around the edges. Keep it hot so the solder flows in. And that's about it. We'll just let that cool. In the meantime, if you've got more clamps, you can work your way on down. So I'll go ahead and work my way on down to the next one. Which I've got placed right here. So again, we take a little bit of paper, clean the two, Paint on a bit of the solder. Now you don't have to use this tinning solder. I mean, regular solder would work fine. Uh, once you've got it fluxed and you see it's heating up good, just use your um, wire solder, like I showed you around the edges. And once again, I'm going to line this up by siding down. Things always move, so check it again to make sure everything's lined up. And now we heat it up. solder around the edges. actually see the solder kind of flowing into a nice joint and if it's not doing that go back with a brush with some solder on it and sort of paint that do that one. Not, not there difficult at all. And these will definitely hold on for the life of the gun. 
unless you really abuse it. So that's it for these. I'll put the third one on the same way. And the front sight's done the same way as these are, but if you're putting a front sight near one that you've already soldered on, make sure you clamp the solder or the soldered tenon in place while you heat that front sight and place it on there. Otherwise the barrel may get hot enough for the tenon to become loose. So I'll put the uh, front sight just ahead of this tenon, solder it in place the same way using a winding stick to guide it up so that it's per perpendicular to this level here and everything should work out fine. Now if you're uh, going to solder on a front sight, uh, I'll solder mine on just ahead of where the front tenon is and I will also clamp that front tenon again making sure it doesn't get overheated and fall off while I'm soldering the uh, front sight in place. And you would line it up the same way you did tenons. Just put a winding rod, a ruler, whatever down there at the far end on the flat to give you a, a, a good surface that you can then sight on and make sure that your front sight is perpendicular to the rear of the barrel. Not terribly difficult, just make sure your metal is clean, flux it good, use a, this is a 62 thousandths wire uh, of solder that works real good and they will stay on. Not a problem. Now when you finish all your soldering you want to clean all that flux off and I use uh, some lacquer thinner first which pretty much takes all that stuff off. The uh, flux is acid which will cause your barrel to rust and you will see that the barrel is also discolored so to bring that back up to color I take a piece of 220 grit paper or 320 whatever you want to use and back it with a piece of duct tape and then trim the duct tape off to size and that way you can use it as a strop to polish that barrel back again get up in the edges by doing this. Not real important because you're not going to see the bottom half of the barrel but it does eh, just a cleaner job. Just clean it up a little bit. So that's all you've got to do. That duct tape on the back is an ancient idea of a lot of machinists and gun makers do that. Now if you look down you can see that the uh, look carefully you'll see the tenons are pretty much in line with each other now. Trying to get this one lined up so you can see it well. There we go. So it's one, two, three. And I'll go and clean up these other two the same way I've done this. And of course when you do your front sight, same thing. Solder it on. Remember to clamp your rear your front tenon down. And when you heat up here you won't loosen this. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and 
solder on the front side on this uh, gun here. Uh, again, I'm going to use the winding stick down at the far end. I've got the metal cleaned up, the bottom of the sight here, and the barrels cleaned up nicely. And I'm going to put this in just in front of the tenon I've got on the bottom here. So it's going to be about oh, an inch and a half back from the muzzle, which is a good placement for most fowlers and trade guns. And we're going to put some of my flux on the bottom. This is the, the stuff with the tin in it. I'm going to paint a little bit on the barrel. And now I want to make sure that I hold the front tenon in place when I solder this on so that front tenon doesn't want to fall off. Now on this, I don't want a lot of excess solder flowing around so I kind of clean up around the edges so there's no excess solder. Just saves you time scraping and sanding away all that excess later. Put my clamp on and then I'm going to get in your way and sight down this barrel so I can get that front sight straightened. That looks pretty good. So we'll, now we'll heat it up. brush that just has solder on it. it does not have the solder with the tin in it. And I just want everything to flow nicely. Now I did not use the the rod of solder around the edges on this because that's going to create a a dam around the edges that you don't want. You want that soldered directly to the barrel without any solder showing. And when you clean the barrel when you're done you want to make sure that none of that solder leaked out and if it did you want to scrape and sand all that away. If you don't have this solder with the tin in it for this application. Use regular solder, but tin the underside of your front sight by putting flux on it and then putting a, a little dab. I'm going to slide out here. Let me grab a front sight real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, if this is your front sight, you want to clean this up real good. Hold it in a pair of needle nose pliers. Apply some standard flux that you get at the hardware store. And then start heating it up slowly over the torch. And as it warms up, just apply a little bit of solder here. And every once in a while, go back with your flux brush and just smooth that until you see a nice coating all the way around and you want to build it up a little bit because you want it to uh, adhere to the barrel too so you want enough for both sides of this joint. And you can also tin the uh, 
barrel the same way, fluxing it, putting a little solder in place, but you have to be careful that it doesn't go everywhere because that flux wants to roll around the edges when you heat it up and the flux and the solder will follow the same way. So I like to just put a little extra heavy coating on the bottom of the site then when I set it in place and clamp it and heat it, it all goes together nicely. You will want to use just a plain flux on the barrel to make sure it attaches and flows nicely, but don't put any solder on that side on the barrel. Alright, this should be pretty well done. And we got a nice joint there, still a little warm. And again, we'll just clean it up. use some. Use a little lacquer thinner first. To get all the acids off. This is the part that I, I hate. There's no real good way to get in there and get the edges of this and have the line still going around the barrel. On 18th century weapons, they did not go to this stropping method. All barrels were sanded and filed front to back and so you will see those marks left behind. This is something we do now because the barrels are so round that this works. In the 18th century when you're talking about a hand filed barrel it's not going to be as nice a radius on these barrels. So you had you just went ahead with the length because that's the way you filed it, that's the way you finished it. got a little bit of solder sneaking out there so what you can do is take a chisel and just sort of chisel any lumps away Another thing you want to do is since you've cleaned all that flux off with the lacquer thinner or whatever you're using, that means you've also removed the oils, the preservatives on the surface of the metal. So when you're done, go back and oil that barrel. Even if you plan to brown it, blue it, whatever you're going to do later, you still want an oil finish on there that you can remove again later because if you don't, this being so clean, it's just going to start rusting on you very quickly. So this could use a little more cleanup, but we're pretty much there. Now there's the front sight. Like I said, just a little more cleanup, which you know, I'll probably do. Uh, on my guns, I'll do that before I do any finishing of the barrel. Put a little WD-40 on a paper towel and go over the whole thing. 
just to front side is on. And all three tenons are on. So this would be ready to mount in the stock now at this point. Alright, so there we have tenon soldered on. Uh, each one takes about three minutes to do and uh, if you have numerous clamps like I do you can get them all done very quickly while the fr front one's cooling you're doing the second one and so on and so forth and you can even flip it around with the uh, clamps on it and do the front sight if you've got a fourth clamp so again just make sure the metals clean when you start file it if you have to if there's any rust or any debris on it. Uh, clean your barrel good, flux it good, and use a good solder. Uh, you don't have to use silver solder. The old timers never did. Uh, if you, as long as you make sure that the solder is flowing underneath, and that's why I like that, that uh, Oatley 95 stuff, because I know there's tin in that, and that's going to help that solder that I put around the edges to flow in underneath and give me a good solid uh, secure joint there. You also want to make sure your tenons fit pretty well. If you've got any gaps in there and you're relying on the solder to fill that and hold it, it's not going to be as strong as just a thin layer of solder. Alright, so make sure you got a good tight fit. If you have to bend the wings a little bit on those tenons to make them fit, do it. Um, other than that, not much. Do it. Uh, Hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully it helps you out. So until next time, y'all take care.